Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. So, as promised, a little bit more low tier stuff, stuff that I think is really enjoyable. And I logged on today uh, into War Thunder, and I felt like Panzer 3M. I just felt like it. And it was always one of those tanks that I absolutely kind of loved, but it was kind of overshadowed by the Panzer 4F2, just a, a touch high in battle rating. This obviously is 3.0, and it has the long barreled 50mm. And it's quite okay, but also what the tank is really capable of is getting into position, but also it has quite good armor. And if you wiggle the tank, if you deny the enemies the direct shot, and there are not overpowered enemies that just lolpen you, then it can be really tough to deal with. So first customer of the day, and we machine gun that SBA down. Okay, good first kill. Look at my positioning. I'm in the corner of the map, reducing the angles where I can get shot from. And there is a Luftwärmster Renktagbill. And I killed him again with the machine gun. Satisfying, to say the least. And a T28, just uh, like on a silver tablet. But that shot was actually bad. And we have to go through a third reload. But then through the front plate, no problem. Third kill just like that and uh, I'm observing the enemy's cap and I just want to figure out where are the enemy tanks I always look around trying to maximize my situational awareness where are enemy coming from uh, to prepare for an ambush to reposition to angle my armor and to just uh, think about where to shoot them a second before the engagement actually happens talking about engagement that is a crusader so that was not the greatest shot and uh, yeah he bounces I bounce or just only hit the machine gun and my armor holds up but his crew doesn't fourth kill and I just felt like the armor is really at its best today so I'm waiting behind this building before the smoke dissipates just in order to uh, make sure that I don't get surprised from the side if I push in and uh, I'm looking around and I didn't see that tank because I was orientating myself on another part of the screen. I have a very big screen and a 4K monitor. Here I'm wiggling the armor and uh, then the armor is actually working out this time. I get tracked disaster M483, the one with the big 105mm gun. If he has heat loaded, he will punch clean through my armor. And then can we disable here the M24 Chaffee? Yes, we did. Gunner, Commander, Cannon Breach. Come on, can we do it? Okay, there is a Sturmgeschütz right next to me serving as distraction. I'm capping, I'm repairing. And can we disable here the M3 Lee? Yes, that was a good disabling shot. And uh, I should pop smoke right around about now. Come on. And I aim still at him before the smoke falls down. And we get another kill. I get shot from the side. I'm recovering through. I'm still repairing my tracks. There is nothing that I can do. I have to take the shots. But looking at then the hit camera, uh, shooting through the smoke, yeah, I think uh, I'm more or less safe. Although now my turret ring is jammed, which is not good. So I try to reverse, and he is pushing forward. So obviously that shot was not enough for the tracks, and I'm turning the tank with him, and yep. But I'm attracted again, so disaster strikes. So I smoke up again. I'm in the cap, so I can recover the smoke. And I'm also repairing faster. And also I repair faster because I recovered a crew member. I'm back to three crew members. That is the minimum amount of uh, maximum effectiveness. You need a gunner, you need a loader, and you need a driver. Uh, the radio operator and the commander would improve the performance a bit further, but they are not really mandatory. Only if you're down to two crews, this is where you get into this excessively long reload. And uh, that is even long in such uh, close quarter battles with uh, a relatively fast reloading Panzer 3M or L. So Again, we hit the chaffee for the second time, we penetrate, we adjust our aim, and that's another kill. Good stuff, right there. This is just experience, this is just reacting to the information that the game gives you. Uh, the, the hit markings, the traces, the, the noises, everything. Uh, the only one that is missing is the smell of the enemy, really. And again, I think that one was a battle. And just look at the surrounding. Buildings have collapsed. My armor is shot away and shot off. 
side skirts are gone my goes boom sad and <laughs> the the tank looks like it went into battle and this is the magic of war thunder this is what i absolutely love about this game when the game works it's really there is no competition nothing is coming close this is what fascinated me like i don't know five years ago when we had the first test of the panzers or the the tanks in general and it still fascinates me it's still something where i where i'm asking myself why the hell do i even want to play top tier top tier isn't even fun and uh, again thanks to not, not having a stabilizer uh, because you don't have lol pen ap fsds uh, um, ammo uh, you know skill matters more i think to choose between the shell types for the various different penetration mechanics penetration power leading uh, the post penetration damage effects um, where to hit the enemy the hardest the weak spots um, you know the difference between angled and flat armor and spaced armor all those things i think this is where it's a steep learning curve but when you when you finally get into it it's it's satisfying when it works and so i think this was uh only the second battle that I played today and immediately I knew I need to make a video about it. Okay, this is now a critical part of the battle. We have the objective and the team together with me, we are pushing towards the enemy spawn. Now this is not spawn camping because spawn camping in my books on this map would be if you bypass the objective, if you bypass the front line and you only shoot the enemies in the side or the back just after they respawn. That is really the spawn camping that nobody likes to experience. Um, but now pushing the enemies is fine. But there is a problem. A lot of people do not account for the uh, thing when the enemies spawn and they have something called spawn protection. So they are immune for several seconds to any incoming damage while they can dish it out, where they can orientate themselves. And watch this. Prioritizing your targets. I prioritized the M5 and now beautiful double kill on the LVTA1. And now I think to myself, my spider senses are tingling. I got shot just uh, as I reversed and uh, that was okay. Now with this Panzer 4F1, I see him as a teammate that I can make use of. There is no way that I can, you know, help him by typing something in chat. So when he gets shot, the enemy might get overconfident and, uh, you know, just come out before uh, he thinks that the Panzer 1, the Panzer 4 F1 could have reloaded. So this double teamwork is just what I think is really great. I don't know what he is shooting. But then I see the enemy and that's another M5A1. This time it seems to be the original American version. And that's 12 kills. That is gameplay to die for. That is just awesome. And now I'm doing this. I pop the smoke to be able to turn around and to prevent from getting shot in the back by, you know, uh, aim shot. Random shots can always happen. And the team in the north, they have fallen to enemies that still made use of their spawn protection. So the objective is now open, so I turn around and there I see two enemy tanks, a fast mover and a little uh, slower one. And I think to myself, ah, easy shots. But I overestimate here his speed and I only kill the machine gunner. Can I? No, I can't shoot the other one as well. So I need to protect the objective. And that shot just whiffed a little bit high and uh, didn't do any damage. And again, this shot, yeah, I should have shot earlier, but that's just a little bit of delay. It looks so stupid in the footage. And now watch this. Disaster strikes, uh, like a second before I could reload. My gunner is out and uh, I tried to wiggle the turret and I need to get away from this guy. But just as I could have shot him again, he disables my gun breach. And I'm thinking to myself, 42 seconds to repair. I get shot from the side. I need to angle. Come on, come on. And no! 